Hi guys, I'm assuming this has started recording. Um, this is our wider curriculum video, and it's a little bit of a reflection on what we've been doing in year five and what we've got up to. You'll notice my special guest here, Mrs. Croft. Hello, Mrs. Croft. Morning. We are like a chat show host. Um, <laughs> and basically, it's just a chance for us to have a little think about what we enjoyed from year five. Your, your guy's task is to write things down, make a PowerPoint of it, although I suppose you won't have photos of it, or do something like this where you do a little bit of a video diary, perhaps. I don't know. Um, but our task is essentially reflecting on year five. And we've made a couple of notes, haven't we, Mrs. Croft? A couple of notes of what we've really enjoyed. Um, are we turn and taking? Or we I don't just know. Like, let's just try not to talk over each other. We'll see how we go. Yeah, how we go with that. That's probably challenge one, yeah. isn't it? Um, shall I, I'll, go, I'll go first. So, uh, okay. what I've really liked about year five is the um, this is going to sound such a teacher answer, though. Um, like all, <laughs> the write, all the writing they've done, the, voc the vocabulary and the ideas that everyone came up with was yes. like amazing. You know, they all came up with really good sort of punctuation and understanding how to make a sentence nice and clear, but the ideas weren't always there, were they, at the start? But then they, they just, I don't know, they just bounced ideas off each other. And Yeah, I think the way, the way those words whizzed around the classroom and people grabbed onto them and used them in their own writing was just amazing. Thought sharing, you are excellent yeah. at thought yeah. sharing. I do like that, like, like an entire lesson of just, right, what ideas have you got, write them down, what have you got, what have you got, right, you can use it, you can use it. I do like that. But also, I think it's from when they read, isn't it? Because you've got the, there's always something you read to them. And then, then like, next week, it's it's in, like, half their writing because yeah. they liked it and used it. And it's been really good to see them. They're awesome readers, aren't they? Awesome readers make awesome writers. So keep reading, everybody. Yeah, that, that has really helped, though. You can tell as people have read more and more, even just the class book that we read, the vocabulary and the language is just kind of, it's really got into it. like you know the christmas carol the wampus stuff that all of it is just it's been amazing speaking of class books though and a christmas carol i really enjoyed your reading of a christmas carol that's when i arrived at totley i arrived at totley in the midst of charles dickens mm. wonderful <laughs> uh yeah i do yeah i do like the read i missed i've missed reading to the class actually to be fair mm. if i really thought about it i probably could have done one of these every morning yeah, next chapter but it'd have been like that CBB's, um, what is it, that CBB's bedtime thing? <laughs> yes. Hello. Morning stories with Mr. Cooper. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so one of mine is just all the vocabulary and all the language that they've used and just how much more confident they are. And you can sit with each one and read it and go, ooh, there's something in the writing, which is, I, I just love. Um, but, yeah, that's my yeah, one really big team you. answer. Done now. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I, I, do you know what? One of my favourite bits was the morning. I liked being there in the morning and saying hello to everybody and listening to how their day went. That was one of my favourite bits. Yeah. And um, I've really, really missed that since March. Um, but everything I enjoy kind of links back to A Christmas Carol. <laughs> I don't know if it's because that's when I began there. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's because we kept revisiting it. Um, especially on World Book Day. Yes, World Book Day was great. Yes, you were quite frightening. Um, <laughs> but I loved everyone else's characters as well. We were, um, yeah, top class, some fabulous costumes. Um, and I've really enjoyed just learning alongside everybody. So there's the stuff I didn't know. When we learned about the planets, the planets was one of my favourite topics. All those facts that kept spilling out. Pink snow. I love pink yeah. snow. Someone re somewhere rains diamonds or, or something as well. Yeah. Somebody said that somewhere rains diamonds. I do. Yeah. Just just facts that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's fun. Oh, that's when we used the green screen, wasn't it? Yeah. That was. Yeah. The, that was. I forgot about that. The green screen was amazing. Yeah. First time using green screen, really cool. everyone stood in front like, here's, <laughs> oh, here's, here's Mars. And it's just green behind them. Like, oh. Yeah, that was really fun, that was. It was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. It gave me an insight into the life of weather forecasters, mm. pointing at places that they can't see. Yeah. But then the idea was in the summer, we were going to do something else with that, but me not help them at all. So like, they'd have to set it up 
I'd just have the green screen in the room and they'd be off and they'd go and do it because now they all knew how to do it. So it would have been interesting to see how well they would have been able to produce it themselves in a way, rather than me being back there like, yep, yeah, okay, over there, over there. <laughs> that, that would have been quite nice to do. Yeah, that would have been good. Self-direction. Speaking um, of presentation, presenting things, uh, all that David Attenborough stuff we did as well. Remember when we did... Um, oh, the what voices. That? Yeah. Yes. What was it that we had to do? What was it a voiceover for? I can't even remember. Um, oh, I, I don't know. I, I can just remember. remember the looks of everybody's faces and the, the laughter that filled the room. <laughs> it was wonderful. That was funny. Trying to do David Attenborough. And here we have... <laughs> there were some really good ones as well, actually. Uh, that was fun. I like that. We've done lots of really good science, actually, haven't we? It's just been there, woven into everything else. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah there's quite heavy... Yeah, there's lots of space for Year 5, yeah. which has been really good. And then, so you have, like, uh, Brian Cox and all of that. And then you've got... Yeah, there's, there's had a lot of David Acker as well, so... Yeah. The phases good. of the moon. Phases of the moon. Oh, Jaffa Cakes. What? Were you there for Jaffa Cakes? No, I was there for Jaffa Cakes, yeah. Oh, were you doing the ping-pong yeah. thing? I was doing the ping pong thing. Were you eating Jaffa cakes while I was downstairs with ping pong balls? Maybe. That's not very fair. <laughs> Next year, I bag see Jaffa cakes. Oh, oh fine, all right. <laughs> oh. That means you have to buy them yourself then. That's you okay, to I'll pay extra. <laughs> That ping pong thing's really cool. Oh. I love doing that though. The plus faces when they're like, "What? I'm why am I studying a ping pong ball? I'm about to see the moon and then <laughs> see the phases." And it's like, "What?" Yeah, I did, it I is quite cool. Bit, actually, because I, I didn't get to see them doing that very much. But the faces are hilarious when you do that with them. Yeah, it's the realization, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I'm yeah. seeing the moon in front in my hand. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. The other thing I liked was the. Uh, the, yeah, I don't think you were here for this bit. We did compute, one of our first computing uh, questions was how's, how does technology around us work? And we like dismantled old laptops and keyboards and just literally, I brought my tools in and we just took them apart. So we were you know, but showing them how to do it properly. So it wasn't just like bashing it with a hammer, yeah. like doing all the screws, taking it apart and finding like the circuit boards. And the, we took out a CD drive of one bit and then we took out the big memory of another and stuff like that and they, they the faces they loved it um you know and you know people like you know Simon and jack and that were just there like tinkering away constantly yeah uh, trying to get things out um and it was just the amazing wonderful. what's on a keyboard like what's under a keyboard and you take the keys off it's just like this weird kind of plastic to help them pop up and then just like a flat piece of metal and you never really think how a keyboard works and they were just amazed by no. A keyboard. <laughs> it is. It's really interesting. Um, my so brother used to do that. He used to take computers apart when he was a kid because he liked knowing how things work. Do not he do started this, uh, with... I think I can use that. <laughs> do not do that at home. <laughs> Don't do that at home. No. Um, but now he's a computer engineer. So you know. Oh that, well, that's that, well, that was that was in the end. Getting kids yeah. to... always with adult supervision. Always. <laughs> But, no, but it did, it sparked quite a lot of people to, to be fair, that class really liked robotics and computing anyway, I think there's quite a lot, a very tech savvy. Um, I think you'll be on. seeing a lot of them next year actually, won't you? Yeah, I, th I think I will, I think we'll do a lot of robotics next year with them. Doing but even for those stuff. who weren't that interested, um, there's, they've, they've gained more interest I think from doing that, because what it led to was this amazing um, computing workshop that we hosted for the year fours when they were first year fours. And they were explaining how our server at school worked. There was a there was a table who explained how Google worked. There was a table doing binary code. So there was year fives teaching year fours how to do binary. And I've got I've got some lovely photos at school, and they're just there like properly showing it, kids teaching kids how to do something. It it was so nice. Um, I think there was one group who were trying to explain um, how things connect to the server, and they got they asked me to get string for them. So they, they got all the kids to hold string with one person pretending they were like the server at school and it showed how, the, it was an amazing idea. It was really, really nice. I, I will actually have to show you the photos because you've probably not seen them. Um, you have to do it again. Have to, well, yeah, I yeah. Like I've out. Yeah, we'll do it again next year at some point. 
Um, but that, that was really nice. And that was only like week two of year five. So I didn't really know them very well. So be, to be able to sit back and watch them do all of this stuff yeah. was like a, we're going to have an amazing year. So that, that was, re I really enjoyed that. That was my first real, for this class, wow, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do some good stuff together. That, that I enjoyed that. And we did. We did great stuff together. Mm -hmm. I kind of don't want to let them go. Can we keep them? Some of them. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Some of them. <laughs> They're only across the park. <laughs> I know. We can wave through the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> no, we'll see them all the time. They're on the same. That's the thing we hear five, but you always try and point out to them. You, for now, we're, we're on the same corridor. You'll see each other loads. So, yeah. It, well, it will be Only across the way. Um, one of my most favourite moments, though, was Baby Turtles. I loved learning about the Baby oh, Turtles. That was the David Attenborough thing. That's why we did the voices. Yes. That's why we did the voices. Yes. It was ticking in the back of my brain. What was it? What was it? Was it? It was the turtles. <laughs> oh, the writing and the painting and everybody who made a teeny tiny rock turtle. Oh, yeah, of course. See, that that was something I'm going to step on your toes a bit here. That was something I really liked. Your little corner of like mindful well-being stuff that appeared in the corner. Within weeks of you arriving, suddenly this calming <laughs> area of advice and crafty things to do to keep you calm. Arrived. And <laughs> yeah. so that, that, that's been very. I know a lot of kids have really enjoyed using that as well. I'll we'll have to do that next year. Um, yeah, well, we'll definitely have to do that next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. The seaters was really nice. Those art, the the artwork was really good. Was it? It wasn't me who did it with them, was it? Yeah. No, no, it was. Um, who came, it, there was a supply teacher. In, supply teacher. Um, but I did the lesson. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I, yeah. A, I couldn't let it go. So. <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they did enjoy that sea turtle. That, that was the voices. That's when they did all the voices, wasn't it? Here we have the sea turtle, the tiny sea turtle. And, but they got the language in there, didn't they? Hey, the way the sea. <laughs> Very good. The way he does it, it's like um, storytelling, isn't it? So they did start to get in that perilous journey across the... Yeah. The, the it was there. almost as scary as the Wampus Cave at one point. Oh, yeah. That, oh, that was a good one. I enjoyed hmm. the one cave writing. That was just, I just wanted them to write something different for like just a week, right? What have you got so far? So I thought I'd do some Star Wars. And it, I've never done you it before. You say that, but their writing has been terrifying all year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair. There's been a theme of fear. The one ten, ten, yeah, tension and darkness. That's the best, that's yes. right. the best writing. Ooh. The one per cave was a good one, though, because that's where they went outside and took photos, wasn't it? Yes, hanging upside down photos. That was good. As Luke's <laughs> one in a Wampa cave. I want to be the Wampa. No, I want to be the Wampa. No, I want to be Luke. I get to hang upside down. And, yeah. Some of those videos were, oh yeah, because some of them actually did hang upside down, didn't they? Where some of them just kind of took a photo upside, like yeah. photos upside down. So they just stood there. That was very clever. I think Arthur great. and Sam did that, didn't they? So they, like, they stood, they yeah. just stood up, but trying to make themselves look like they were hanging upside down. Yeah, and so they stood against the wall, didn't they? And yeah. and had their arms in the air. Yeah, that was that, that was quite close. <laughs> and then some people just literally hung upside down off the monkey bars <laughs> and took the photos. <laughs> Equally as effective. And everyone's lightsabers were class rulers. <laughs> yeah, we ought to buy some lightsabers just in oh, case yes. you ever do that again. Yeah, yep. <laughs> or in case we need a a battle, the battle of the playground with lightsabers. Lightsabers can make any situation more fun. That's true. We did. We left the Battle of Hastings when we did that. No, I can't remember when you. It was quite a while. You. It was. It was. It was, it was the start of December. So. Oh, so you didn't. You weren't there for that. We did no. the Battle of Hastings. In the, in the Christmas Carol, the Christmas show was underway. Everybody was rehearsing. Oh, yeah, you came in a really um, minute part of the year, didn't you? Actually, I think about that. Um, so it was no, we did. A, we did a Battle of Hastings where we ran down the hip like so. We had half the class on the top of the bank being Saxon <laughs> and half them at the bottom with some of them on each other's like piggybacks because the Normans were um, yeah. horses and just like did some freeze frames, action shots of them. <laughs> and then, that was fun. 
that was really, yeah. and we've got, there's some really funny photos of people like being horses on piggyback and stuff. Like, <laughs> you will have to find them, yeah. Well, normally what we do at the end of the year is I normally put them into a big slideshow and just play them and we just look and have a laugh. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I can't share everyone's images, can I? So. No. Well, you can always share them when they come back next year. It's not like they're going on top, is so. No, we can do it. I can, always, I can always share them back next year at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a funny one as well about the Hastings. It was really good. I enjoyed that. <laughs> um, and they've got to look forward to now, haven't they, next year? Yeah, yeah that's true. As well as waving at us across the corridor. Yeah. I'm sure there's lots of exciting things in year six. Oh, there's loads. But they can always pop in, can't they? can just pop in and say hi to us. We're still, we're still yeah. in. Please pop in oh. and say hi. I've just looked at my other last my my other thing I wrote down the Christmas party games. You would have been there for that, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd been there for that. What? Yes, I was there you, for that. Did you? I was like, I'm trying. I'm trying to roll up my paper. This is what I remember from the Christmas party oh, yeah. game. <laughs> Here, hang on, hang on. Here I am with my blindfold on, oh, yeah, and yeah. I'm sitting quite quietly. And all of a sudden, whack! <laughs> what was that game? Who, who hit you? <laughs> I can't I don't even know. Was it Jack? It might. I think it was. I think it was somebody I liked, and then I, I was like, oh, like, "Do I really it. like that person?" That was <laughs> a very historical lesson. We learned a lot about history. That was a Victorian lesson about how yes. they celebrated Christmas. A legitimate class lesson, and it was, uh, "Are you there, Moriarty?" That's what it was called. Ah. Uh, because you had yes. to, because yeah, you had to hold each other's arm, didn't you? And then you did. Like you yes. did, you hold an arm, and you, then, had say, didn't you? you had to say, are you there? And then, like, try and, one hit, wasn't it, with a newspaper? Really? Yeah, so yeah. if you said, are you there, Moriarty, I would hit you. Oh, yeah, yeah, the voice was yeah. to try and uh, give you a person a clue as to where you were, but you yeah. could judge, couldn't you, you were like, Yeah, I that didn't get that bit at first. <laughs> that was a good one. I enjoyed that. Didn't somebody what also? Other party games were there? No, well, I've just remembered because we did some research into other party games that Victorians used yeah. to do. Blind some man's buff. Where there was a, um, it, if you were upper class, obviously, when you played these party games, there used to be a glass pickle that you hid on the Christmas tree, and then throughout the day, it was called find the pickle. Throughout the day, whoever at your party Christmas party found the pickle won an extra like prize. And then somebody Ooh. said, then weirdly, somebody said, oh, my nan has a, has a Christmas decoration that is a pickle that goes on the tree. Wow. So it must be, a, some people must still do this. Yes. I had no idea. You could, you could like, update it. You could do it with a golden snitch, perhaps. Ooh, yeah, you could do it with anything, couldn't you? That would be a good one. So, yeah, that was a weird one. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what other games we did today. Um... We did, we did Blind Man's Buff. I liked yeah. Blind Man's Buff. That was good fun. Yeah. Um, it was like feeling, it was like everyone just went for hair length, didn't they? Yes. Just yeah. feeling hair and then the, no, and the nose, people's noses were very uh, regular. Popular. Way, it was just what we just, we, so yeah, so we just picked one person and we just put their hands on the shoulders, didn't we? And it was hair yeah. and nose and that was it. And it was yeah. like a lot of people guessed quite well from purely somebody's nose, which was really weird. <laughs> uh, but yeah, everyone enjoyed that one, didn't they? That was, that was a good one. Yeah, I did enjoy the party games. They were great. Yeah, that was that. Um, yeah. yeah, and the craft day as well. The craft day was awesome. Wow, but this is turning into a Christmas. <laughs> a Christmas. Yeah, order. Christmas is good and quite close now. True, We've got true. Christmas. Yeah, the, the, that craft day was really nice. I do like. I like that every year. See, that was your first one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've I like, had a couple of those now, and they're always really nice. Like ev all everyone's families just come together and yeah, it was lovely. It's really it's a bit stressful um, sorting it all out, but it's, it that was really nice. Just yeah. seeing everyone relaxing and doing some craft together, and like getting other people to join in with each other's. Yeah, I like the stockings. The stockings were my favourite. Oh yeah, I quite like the I like the wreath making. I think that's something yeah. that a lot of people maybe don't get a chance to do. And it's what it's what was really <laughs> tricky, actually. quite competitive with the wreath making. I find, mm -hmm. yeah, they're always like, Oh, I know, I want to, I, no, we just need to do this bit and now this bit. 
Yeah. But it's a bit of a thing, wreath making. Um, and I think there are easy ways to do it, and that way was really quite hard, the Victorian mm. way. You need to um, use lots of skills. Mm. Yeah. It was really simple. Um, do you know, I remember coming back in January, and we were talking about has everybody had a nice Christmas and the Christmas play, and you said to the class, oh, you'll be in the Christmas play this year. And they all went, huh? And yeah. then realised. <laughs> yeah. See, but it, well, and they yeah, were. Well, they may not be. We don't know about that yet. That's a bit far ahead. Oh. That might be something that he may or may not do. I yeah. don't know. I watched it space. Yeah. But, well, I'll tell you Maybe what. You use your computer wizardry to um, do something. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look. We're not, we're not there like Mrs Croft. <laughs> That's a couple of months away, isn't it? Um, you can't count for Christmas. No, 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 definitely not. Um, <laughs> the one thing I enjoy every year at the start of year five, uh, I always go, right, you're year five. This time next year, you are year six. And I guarantee yeah. it will go really fast. And every year I've said that, the kids are like, oh, it's ages away. Last week when I was in the hub at work, um, it might, I think it might have been Ella, went, remember when you said, I remember when you said that, and the face of it's flown yeah. by. And it happens every year, and I love it when they realise. Well, yeah, I remember that because <laughs> I make a purposeful. You need to remember this point right yeah. now. And she said last week, "Whoa, that's weird." So that that's something I've enjoyed, and something that I'm, I'm going to miss this year. Actually, not seeing them sit there going, "Wow, yeah, we've done all this stuff," and actually talk about it like we're doing it now. But they'll all chip in with things. But they'll they'll have their yeah. own memories, won't they? It's something funny that happened. Probably behind my back. <laughs> No, we're going to have lots of lovely video diaries um, of children sharing their memories and yeah. their favourite bits. Well, I've, I've definitely missed a lot out. I like reading other stories, to be fair, reading Phoenix, but, oh no, you weren't there for that either. <laughs> All right, in September, um, hopefully, we'll, yeah, I'll read Phoenix. You will love the commitment to my character voices, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's, like a, it's about 500 pages long. Wow. Um, we were determined, and we read it in a heart in the first half term. We, we honestly we had half an hour every day of reading it, and everyone was like, "What is going to happen next?" I think it's my <laughs> favorite. I think it's my favorite book in your have to read, and it's the first one we read. See, so, I've never read it. I've it's a very good book. So I will look forward to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very good book. Um, with lots of characters, because it starts off with there's only a few characters. So I'm like, oh, I can. I'll do this voice. That'll be fun. That'll yeah. be fun. And there's a couple more characters and a couple more characters and those characters don't go away <laughs> and i've got to remember all these voices you've got to remember all the voices that you do easily yes. a couple of times this year somebody's gone that's not the right voice that's the other character I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that was fun i've missed i've missed reading to the class yeah but that was fun yeah so they're they're, they're my memories so the vocab the computing and then the Christmas party games were my favourite parts. And it sounds like yours is pretty much all Christmas. Which makes yeah, sense Christmas. when you first started, like you said. Christmas, pink snow and turtles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's, a nice, that's a nice summer of year five, isn't it? Christmas, yeah. pink snow and turtles. <laughs> How to sell year five isn't it? to the year fours at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to year five. You're going to learn about pink snow, Christmas and turtles. And raining diamonds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll have a big battle. Oh, yeah, big battle. Yeah. Yeah. That, then that's it. <laughs> Tell you what we did miss this year. We did miss going to London this year. That would have been amazing. I know. Imagine, imagine that class right now going to London. That would have been a bit of life. That. Yeah. That would have been really fun. Oh, dear. Oh, well. They'll make many... many day, school trips will happen again, won't they? Yeah. Oh, at some point, hopefully, yeah. Oh, that was easy. Oh, I didn't go to the Victorian classroom this year. Did you go with them? No. I was on. A, I, 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 yeah. wasn't able, I wasn't able to make it this year. That was that was a good one. That's always something Year Five's like. Where do they go? Do they go in Sheffield or out of Sheffield? Uh, no, it's um, it's in Barnsley. She used to be in Sheffield, uh, but she's really she's really good. She's yeah. she's the loveliest person ever. But she'll only talk to you kind of like out of character, like at the side of the room. She'll stay in character for all of it. And then she'll just walk past you. Hi, you'll be all right. Would you have a cup of tea? 
<laughs> and then back to the class. So, surely it's at that point in the year the children all come back and go, Mr. Cooper, we love you. Yeah. Don't ever don't ever send us back there. <laughs> no, but she's good. I always think I'd be quite I'd quite like something like that where you just act all day for the kids. So I'd be, be excellent. Quite, I'd be that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm just doing that this year. But I know a lot of them did really enjoy that, which is why I've mentioned it, because I think a lot of them will mention the Victorian classroom. I think a lot of people will mention the Victorian classroom. I think a lot of people will mention some sort of writing they've done, because they all really enjoy their writing this year, whether it was a letter from the workhouse or, like you say, the one per Star Wars. or or, 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 or the first one we did was um, flying a spacecraft. I brought my PlayStation in. And uh, we watched um, ah. Blue Off Spacecraft on the big screen. So, yeah, you missed that as well. Um, Can you stop telling me all these wonderful things I missed? This is not fair. You'll see them in, you'll see them in September. So it's fine. Okay. If anything, it's just neat for you. It's getting you excited for September. But I can't think what else to put on. Oh, they acted out the Magna Carta and they had to take over the classroom. I ended up cowering in the corner on top of my chair. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else they that, that was fun. I'm trying to think what else they might write down. I don't know. I've got no, oh, I think you should start thinking and we should wait and see. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what they do remember. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? That was a nice little conversation about year five. Yes. Um it's a lovely you. way to start Monday morning. Hmm. This is how we normally start on Monday morning with a nice chat. A oh, we should, we really should have done that every Monday morning. I'll do my home learning videos and then have a chat with Mrs. Croft. Ah. Oh. Yes. Oh, we should have done story time together. You could have done the character voices. I'd been in the narrator. Yeah. Or the other way around. Well, if there is a next time, we'll know. <laughs> Straight away, we're doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Croft. That was a lovely little trip down memory lane for year five. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame we're not doing it in class with them because I'm sure there'd have been it lots is. of other ideas yeah. given thrown forward. But... Still nice, nice little chat to have. Um, and what I'll do is I will send, I'll forward you whatever I get sent, so you can, so you can see it as well. Um, Brilliant. You can have a little memory lane with everybody that brings a word. In. Well, thank you for that, Mrs. Craft. It's been lovely to see you. Thank you. Right.